Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss C program to subtract two numbers. So the first line in the so the first line in the C code is header file section. Include the header file hash include with an angle bracket stdio dot h. And here we are not going to use any global variables and we are not going to use any user defined functions. So, no need to declare global variables or user defined functions here. Directly go to main function void main. Main function is not going to return any value to any other function. So, the return data type for main is void. And within the set of curly brace, we need to enter the required code. And here we are going to subtract two numbers. So, we need two values. It may be an integer value or floating point value. Now we will consider integer value. Two integer values int x and y we are considering. And if you are subtracting two values, and the result should be stored with the another variable. Okay. So that we will consider one more variable to store the result that is sum. Next, we need to get the input for x variable and y variable. What is the value? And then we need to implement the subtraction. Okay, so use the printf statement to enter the message. Enter the values of x and y. And here we will include new line character also. Since we will get input in next line. Okay, then this statement has to end with a semicolon. Next, use the scanf statement to accept those two inputs. Scan of within double quotes. What is the format specifier for integer variable? It is percentage D. And here we are going to accept two integer variables that is X and Y. So we have to use a two percentage D, then comma, and then use the address operator to accept the X variable value. And the next along with address operator accept the y variable value. So now with the help of these two statements we will accept the value of x and we will accept the value of y. Next we need to subtract those two values. Okay. So to implement the subtraction yes you be subtract this is the variable subtract is equal to x minus y. What is the value stored with the variable x that should be subtracted from y? And the result of this whole expression will be stored with the variable sub. Okay. And then after implementing the subtraction, you have to print the result in the output screen. So the result will be stored with the variable sub. Okay. So use the printf statement. Printf within double quotes. Result equal to. Here it will display the integer value. Okay. Comma S U B. Okay. And this has to end with a semicolon. Now simply use the return statement at the end of the main. So now the program code is over. Now we will try to execute this C code. And if you are executing here, see here, there is an error. A return, it is a spelling mistake. Okay. So Correct the spelling mistake. Okay. Now again run the code. See here. So now our C code is free from errors and it is executing. Okay. Now here we have to enter the X value and Y value. X value here I am giving 70 and Y value I will give 50. Okay. And result is equal to 55. Okay. Suppose again if you are running the code X value I am giving 40. And y value I am giving 100. Okay. So what is the result we are getting? See here. It is minus 60. Result is equal to minus 60. Suppose here we want to print the output in different form. That is x minus y is equal to. Here the x value and y value I want to display x minus y. So in that case what we have to do? That is percentage d minus percentage d equal to percentage d I have given and th this first percentage d will hold the x value 
and the second percentage d has to hold the y value and this third percentage d has to hold the subtraction value now if you are executing this c code what it will happen see here i am entering x value is 30 and y value is 6 see here how it is displaying see here here one extra comma is there okay we will remove it and again if you are executing the code in the sense 40 minus 15 see here 40 minus 15 is equal to 25. In this format, it will display. Whatever the format you require, according to that, you can write the code here along with the message also. Okay, it will display accordingly. Suppose, instead of this integer, if I want to implement a subtraction for two floating point values in the sense here, consider float x, y and the format specified for floating point is percentage f and here also it is percentage f and here also percentage f percentage f percentage f okay and if you're running this code in the sense we'll get it here so 12.5 and 5.5 so 12.5 minus 5.5 is 7 here we are getting see here after the decimal point the compiler will automatically consider six digits okay 12.5 one digit already is there remaining digits it will consider it as zero okay so this is the result and also here if you are considering if you want to accept x variable value individually and if you want to accept y variable value individually that is also possible so here enter the value of x okay and here these two statements we can rewrite again okay so, here enter the value of x, here accept only x variable value. Okay, here enter the value of y and accept only y variable value. This is also possible if you are executing the C code and here enter the value of x. 11.5, enter the value of y, it is 4.5 something. See here, 11.5 minus 4.5, it is 7 we are getting. In this way also, we can able to write the code. See, there are different ways to write the C code. But you should follow the C programming syntax rule. That is the only restriction. In whatever way you want to accept the input and display the output, in that format accordingly, you can able to do it. Only thing is, you need to remember the syntax rules. That is important. Okay. Otherwise, the programmer, according to their wish, they can able to design the C code. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.